about it a little bit earlier, I guess just dealing with being more independent and doing things yourself and being DIY, do it yourself. DIY. <laughs> no, no, DIY. <laughs> they, uh, you know, you kind of learn more on how to function and be your own yeah. thing, you know what I mean, and do your own thing without having all these rules. You kind of can learn the rules as you go. So I guess that kind of makes you, you know, a more versatile artist and be able to do things that you wouldn't have even thought of doing. I mean, you accept and embracing things that you didn't even know about and blossom and grow with that. I hope that answers the question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes with DIYs and, and uh, MP3, mm -hmm. some, some people say that, uh, and maybe they're right, maybe they're wrong, that uh, it's too much music, sometimes with not a good quality. But I agree, uh, I agree, because it's like an oversaturation, and it's not enough quality to go along with all of that quantity. If you're sitting up there giving people all this access to free, 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 free it'll be a mishmash and a big bucket of stuff and study uh some substance so nobody will ever know what is good and what is bad at that time but at the same time it's kind of giving people a, you know open their minds and ears to different types of things so i would say that's a fair part of it you know so yeah and um would you see some uh, kind of solution to help people to find the good music something like this if you can say that um I can't say it's an absolute solution, no, absolute, but, but some ideas. Some ideas. Um, vinyl, the way we bring it back, vinyl. You know what I mean? Um, the better quality video, keeping that and ch trying to compress that into things like DVDs and keeping things for sale and not giving away so much. Uh, cassette, bringing cassette back, keeping things in an analog source, kind of distorts mm -hmm. digital from existing and taking away from it. So. You know, digital is a format that we use, but it shouldn't be the absolute, you know what I mean? Because if it's the absolute, that means once the computer's gone, then people will only know the computer. And they will only be able to associate with doing things based on being on the internet. What you gonna do without the internet? We still got sound. We still got speakers. We still got RCA cables and we got plug in in the wall. We could make amplification exist, you know what I mean? So even beyond the music, you know what I mean? It's like life kind of brings people together people dance you know they feel good so you don't want to lose the quality of life and just having all this access to all this music yeah yeah but when you speak about uh, vinyl analogics mm -hmm. uh, it means uh, more investment uh, when, when I speak about investment it's not only about the money but uh, it's about the behavior too because people have to know how to, to make some um, to make uh, to make the machine work, uh, people need to know how it works in the system with vinyl to, mm -hmm. to, to produce it. So it's what do you think? I think that's a hard question for me to answer. I couldn't just have an absolute straight up answer for you know the way people are going to go and what they're going to do with what they're doing. I think to each his own. Everybody's going to make their choice. With me, I'm going to make sure I kind of spread and broaden my horizons and be able to exist on all planes and be able to do music in all formats so I won't just be stuck in this little, one little box. I don't like to be stuck in a box with doing music, so to each his own with that one. And uh, Yusef, when you said uh, about making some vinyls, some making nice videos, and so you do it yourself? Everything. I do everything. I get every, either I'm doing it myself or I'm associating with people to help me do it and keep it within house you know what I mean because when you put too many hands in what you're doing and too many people able to operate what you're doing then they own it they kind of have claim on what you're doing that's not fair I think when you go to your home and sleep in your bed you don't want to lay in that bed thinking okay at this moment somebody might come take my bed back y'all saw that movie repo man <laughs> when they, they was taking the body parts back and all this stuff and they was taking people livers back because they didn't pay for it you know what I mean you don't want, that's the situation most artists get into I think with uh, being signed to record labels and being associated with all these companies these brands once you remove all that they don't exist they're phony they're not even real people they're like a, a made-up version of what they would like to be instead of being this entity that's just good and positive and resourceful in the first place you know what i mean so as an artist for me marcellus lovelace infinito 2017 i always uh would like to exist as an individual person a life force that somebody can know and love 
as a person from the heart and study like this thing that they see on the internet and they look forward to accepting because they're hearing me or seeing me you know what i mean and, like that's a real life person he do real life things he makes real things happen